is Greg from FRC Foamies. This afternoon I'm at the field with the FRC Foamies Boeing X-32. The X-32 went up against the F-35 at the Joint Strike Fighter competition and it lost. Both of those planes uh, did the vertical takeoff. The F-35 had a, a little bit more complicated system that actually produced a little bit more lift. But because the F-35 has become a little bit expensive and is still complicated, people sometimes wonder what would have happened if the uh, X-32, which was a simpler design and came in at budget, what would have happened if that was chosen on the Joint Strike Fighter uh, competition? So Jay and I decided to find out. I think it looks pretty spectacular for what it is. It's a guppy. I've got the ailerons, rudders, and V-tails and elevons mixed. I can turn off the elevons, have only the uh, V-tails and ailerons. But for now, I'm going to just leave the elevons on. I'm using a Heads Up RC Zoom 450 motor on a 6x3 prop. Right in here, we've got plenty of room under the canopy for battery, receiver, electronics. Very nice setup here. Plenty of room on this plane. This is the model plane foam grade B foam. I think it looks spectacular and it's just a great price. I'm using four servos for the V-tails, two, two for the V-tails and two for the elevons. It's got a nice super clean look. The plane's got a lot of lift, so it's a floater. I added KF4 airfoils to try to reduce some of the uh, float. <laughs> This plane does not have thrust vectoring really. The rudders do work a little bit like thrust vectoring, but uh, overall it flies like a plane with no thrust vectoring. So you gotta be very smooth on the controls, no crazy tumbles or anything like that. The rudders are spectacular on this plane and using the rudders just snaps the tail around very nicely. So if you're a rudder flyer, you'll appreciate them on this plane. The plane likes a lot of weight in the nose, so I'm using an 1800 battery today and it's marginal. A 2200 would be better. The overall weight of the plane is 19 and a half ounces in this configuration and it does just fine up to 22, 23 ounces. All right, let's bring it in for a landing. Nice. So whether you like the look of the X-32 or not, it is an amazing looking plane, very unique. And uh, Jay and I like making unique planes. So this will be available on the website shortly. We're gonna paint it up, do a dialed in video, and then release the plans within the next couple weeks.